Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to unbox this PRS style guitar together. Um, this was incredibly cheap. I just could not resist it. I have a PRS SE Pauls guitar and I really enjoy PRSs. And I saw this, it was really reduced so much. It was crazy. It's literally probably about mm, one thirtieth the price of a real PRS SE. So you can do the maths on that, but it's um, incredibly cheap. It's come in this kind of bag. I don't know, I, I'm really, really kind of worried about this. It's taken about a week to get here. Um, it is a secondhand guitar and it looks very much, I don't wanna to give too much away, but it looks very much like the PRS Santana style guitar. And the big difference between this one and the PRS I have is that this has a tremolo arm, or at least it has the ability to have one. I'm not sure if it actually comes with the arm itself, um, but we're gonna find all that out. And yeah, this is a lot of packaging, but having said that, there's obviously there's no case, there's no box. I've never received a guitar just like this before. They supposedly know what they're doing. Hey, they've been doing this for a number of years. Um, I've been sort of buying, you know, guitars here and there for fun to mess around with for a little while now. But I mean, I don't buy tons of them, but I, you know, just get them for recreation purposes and obviously to share with you guys so we can have a bit of fun and have a look at them. But my goodness me, yeah, this is a lot of packaging, but yeah, oh my goodness me, the, the possibilities of neck breaks, all that kind of stuff. I mean, literally a guitar, literally, it's just in bubble wrap. It's in bubble wrap. Oh my goodness. I just don't know. I'm, I'm pretty concerned about the result we're going to get here. But you never know. Good things come to those who, uh, I don't know, have some kind of level of faith, I suppose. I don't know. Do you have any faith in this packaging? I'm not sure I do. The last one I got uh, from a similar uh, seller came in a giant TV box. And that actually did have a small chip on the end of the, of the headstock. So that was a bit of a shame. And I don't want a repeat of that with this. But I'll try and do this. I'll try and do this as quick as I can. But blimey, this packaging is not easy to get through. This is going to be useful for further boxes. I'll tell you that much, that's for sure. So it just pulled all of this away. But yeah, the PRS Santana is a guitar I've always wanted. And it's got a nice... Uh, they call it a wide, fat neck, and um, yeah, it's, I, I played it a couple of times. It's a very, very fast playing guitar, but it, you know, for day-to-day -day playing, I just preferred the neck feel of the PRSE Pauls guitar because that's got really nice. Uh, it's got a, an even chunkier neck than the Santana does, and it does uh, also have all of the um, the coil splitting options you have on that guitar which is just wicked so you know i use a tremolo a bit here and there but it's not something that i'd get crazy stuff on so i thought well okay paul's guitar is the one for now and um i'll eventually probably get a santana but for now i saw this on sale and i just i just couldn't i could not resist it all this bubble wrap i don't know if i would if i was going to send a guitar i don't think i would ever do it this way I would definitely put it in a box or something for safety because this this gives me anxiety just looking at it. Um, now I am expecting potentially, yeah, there's one string missing. And funnily enough, when I bought this, the guy said to me, ooh, um, there's a, ah. Oh God, see, they didn't mention any of that. Ouch. This is the problem when you buy online. That's really, really isn't it? That is broken. Well, they're gonna get an email from me because basically this is even worse than I thought. What a shame if I'd known that. Mind you, it was so cheap. I might have bought it anyway. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if I would have bought it anyway, would I? Possibly. Um, but that is not nice to see. And obviously that nut now needs replacing, which is something I'm gonna to have to do. Yay. Joys, joys and joys and joys, not. Um, so yeah, already not too amused about that. Mm, feels like quite a nice neck though. And then go to the guitar itself, I can start wedging it out. God, this is hot work, I tell you. 
hot, hot, hot work. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. So, pulling it out of all of that mess, that's what we have. So we have a very PRSE, PRSSE Santana looking style guitar. We definitely do. So I thought I'd just show you this as well. I and mean, in terms of the, re the, the strings and um, what's happened here is somebody who actually maybe, I don't think they really knew what they were doing. Um, they've strung the B string the wrong way around on the post, which is, um, yeah, that's a little bit of a fail. So the angle there is gonna be terrible. I mean, the nut's completely ruined anyway. So it doesn't really matter. That needs replacing. Um, and they've also, they've strung up the, the strings with the same gauge string so they here for the G. So the G, this, you can probably see that just about. The G here is actually the same gauge string pretty much as what should be on the D. So that basically means there's no way of tuning this up to a, uh, a G at all. Because, um, yeah, you'd have to turn the tuner way, way, way too far. And, um, you yeah, know, you risk breaking something. So um, I have de just I've just detuned this to a D as well, and um, yeah, you can just hear what it sounds like because it, you know, obviously I mean the nut needs replacing, and there's nothing I can do with this, which is, yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's great, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is what it sounds like. It actually sounds. It actually sounds. I think once this is set up, it's going to sound nice. Now I'm going to play some funky chords here because <laughs> this is tuned completely weird now. So yeah, you can see that it's basically, it's not. I mean that, I don't know, we even know what chord that is. Bit of a finger twister, but I don't know, gonna see what that costs out to, but it might not be worth it frankly, um, but I don't want to throw this in the bin. So we're going to do something with it. There you go. Right. Cheers. I will see you in the next one. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, consider super thanks if you can. That really helps the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Cool. Right.